So, the video I'm going to be talking about today is Dua Lipa's Tiny Desk Home Concert. Uh, it's a very interesting kind of concept whereby they are technically at home, but at the same time, they are not actually uh, using a typical home setup. Because a home setup, who has a digital mixer at home? Uh, very few people, actually. Uh, the, the setup is one wired condenser for Dua Lipa, four backing vocalists using wireless and these are wireless dynamic mics so they don't pick up the the surrounding it's easier to isolate and uh, control the volumes that they have uh, the bassist is running a multi-effects and that probably models that sound the amp the guitarist is also running a multi-effects a bigger one uh, it's probably one of the camper helix or the uh, akai the drums is going through a cassette player this is what i like to focus on the cassette player is actually just an old school cassette player battery powered they went and recorded the drums uh, tracks on different cassettes. So when you want a particular track, you put in that one, press, you close it and you press play. You can actually hear the, them clicking it in and all that and hitting play. It counts in and then they start the songs uh, according to whichever track it is. And they have seven IEMs for each mu uh, musician. The singers and the guitarists, the bassists have all their own IEMs and that allows them to have a personal mix and this is wireless uh, IEM so they have a wireless pack that runs the IEMs and so we're talking about 8 in 7 out uh, because the cassette player has a condenser a pencil condenser pointing at the speaker as well so this probably is run through a digital mixer which allows them to have individual mixers for the IEMs as well as uh, multi-track out recording and then they can actually balance the sound properly before they actually do the video they have multi-camera setups and uh, this allows them to catch you know, a close-up shot of the singer as well as a big shot for the whole room and all that. So it gives, I think I think they have about three or four cameras running. This allows for a very interesting, very intimate but at the same time very performative performance from them. And so that's why I decided to talk about this in terms of sound. It's a, it's a difficult setup to do, to do properly but if you get it right, it will sound like a properly produced setup.